Hey everybody, it's Connor, and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't new, if you're part of the fam, but if you are new, welcome here. On this channel, you can expect content about holistic living through food and movement. These two modalities mostly because I am a chef. I've been vegan for 11 years and I'm a yoga teacher. I'm also a plant-based nutritional counselor. And today we are going to go through my stretching routine. Yes, you're going to watch a pregnant yogi do yoga. <laughs> and we're also going to do a second trimester recap as I am in my third trimester. Currently, while recording this, I am in my eighth month of pregnancy. So, starting off the routine, I just do some rib circles, nice and easy. Bring those arms up overhead. And just stretching it out a little bit here. And I'm gonna do some more rib circles, actually. This is super great for opening the back and the hips. I do have pregnancy-induced sciatica on one side of my body, so this is actually a really great relief for that. So if you have sciatica, whether it's pregnancy-induced or not, this is a great way to just stretch out, especially like first thing in the morning. So the second trimester was kind of uneventful. It wasn't as eventful as the first one where I was just like settling into pregnancy. And even now going into the third trimester, uh, there's a lot more stuff going on, obviously because um, we are on the cusp of getting ready to give birth. So it was pretty chill uh, getting used to the weight gain getting used to um, <laughs> a little more itchiness, I should say, because your skin's expanding and also because your blood vessels are expanding and contracting a lot more frequently, especially expanding, trying to get oxygen and blood to the baby. So sometimes your skin can itch. So that's just the biggest thing I've been dealing with. Literally wearing leggings sometimes is a bear. So sometimes I just won't wear them. But <laughs> this day of filming, we were actually, we as in me and baby, were actually doing fine with leggings. So we just went ahead. And yeah. <laughs> the same thing happened with Sage. It was really hard to wear leggings towards the end. And then bringing the hands down the heart center, taking a moment just to breathe with the baby, with myself. I always like to say breathe through your nose and out through your nose because it can help soothe your parasympathetic nervous system. But breathe however you need to, especially during pregnancy. Your sinuses can uh, swell and it can make it hard to breathe through your nose. It can almost make it feel like you have a cold literally for nine months sometimes. So do whatever is easy for you, whatever you need to nourish yourself. So just now giving the feet some love, pointing the toes up and forward. We're on our, I'm on my feet so much because I am a chef. Uh, I also have a toddler, so I'm running around after her a lot but also in general we like stuff our feet in ill-fitting shoes we sit at office desks especially with a lot of us working from home now so just moving the feet giving them some extra love some appreciation this yoga wheel is the best thing that i've ever bought for my yoga practice prop wise it is amazing helps to support me it's not that great for some pregnant women to lay on their back it can actually block oxygen to the baby so it is recommended that you have some sort of prop to prop you up 
and doing a number four stretch here. So not the number four that looks like it has cactus arms, but the other number four. Stretching out the glutes, stretching out your hamstrings, thighs, everything, lower back, everything down there, just giving it a good stretch. Ooh, and then just taking, <laughs> I can just feel the release in this part of the video. Just taking a breather here. So in comparison to my first pregnancy, the second trimesters are pretty much very similar. I have a first trimester recap that I will link down below for you guys to check out. And you can see some of the differences there. So now I'm coming to a cat cow here. Now usually I have some notes for myself going along with music because sometimes I use my personal practice as a way to write a sequence, put a sequence together for the actual classes that I teach. So you'll see me looking like past the camera and that's me looking at my notes that I'll cast on my TV while I move um, with music to see what fits where. Does it flow right? Does it feel right? Should I just automatically move to a modification or anything like that? And then coming to a child's pose, feet curled. And then when you're coming down, you can actually go on a flat feet. And I put my big toes together which widens out the knees and makes space for your belly if you are pregnant or if you have more tissue around your belly. This is great. Or if you just want to. Sometimes you just want to. I find myself being able to go deeper into a child's pose if my knees are wider. And then shifting that weight back and forth is also really helpful to get deeper into different aspects of the pose that you may not have been able to get into if you were stationary or not necessarily stagnant, but if you were just in place. So just taking a moment here with a neutral spine, getting my alignment together, and then just shifting some weight back especially with the toes curled, like I said, giving our feet some love. This is super, super helpful for that. You see me breathing pretty deeply because now time is just really winding down for me and baby's taking up a lot of room, so I don't really have a lot of space to breathe necessarily. So I'm making sure to just make adjustment, adjustments to my breath work while I'm moving. And then coming into a lunge. Nice and easy here. Knee on the floor, hands on the thigh. And then taking that one arm and sweeping it right above into the sky. And taking a back bend here, if that's comfortable for you. You can totally take a back bend as well, you don't have to. And bringing that knee up, just creating some strength here, stretching out the legs a little more. And then just widening that front knee, so pointing it out. A lot of people call this a lizard pose or a gecko, gecko pose. Feels super good. And then coming back into a runner's lunge to finish off that sequence of lunges. Now you saw how my back was getting a little curved with my hands on the floor, so I grabbed the yoga wheel and my back straightened out a lot and it felt really good, I felt supported. Perfect. And just 
just coming forward a bit, shifting the weight a couple times just to open up the legs and the hips and the glutes again. The lower back, giving it some love. And taking that leg out wide, similar to the knee. Stretching it out this way. Ooh, that belly. And you feel it, I'm telling you, you feel it. <laughs> The only thing that's different is that with my first pregnancy, I felt it a lot more because that was the first time I'd ever been that heavy in my life without it being like everywhere. I gained a lot of weight in college. Uh, I went to culinary school, so <laughs> it wasn't just like freshman 15. <laughs> um, and it had felt really, really different bigger you know I had to get new clothes and all this other stuff but it was just like the weight on my body just felt different now I'm only turning around actually to do all these poses on the other side just for video purposes I wouldn't necessarily do this <laughs> so you don't have to do this um, but yeah that, that was the only difference now I'm used to having the weight in front of me before before like with my first pregnancy before like it was so long ago it was literally like 2019 um I wasn't so it was really a big thing for me especially for my back it was just whoa <laughs> I think there's like a meme or like a video floating around where they tell like partners like the best thing you can do for your pregnant partner is to like hold up their belly <laughs> that is actually very true very very true it helps so much a nice back rub and just lifting up the belly things that can help to counteract just the, the weight it's a lot of weight in one place so Again, shifting that weight back and forth, just opening up the body, remembering our alignment. I try to bring my navel to the spine. I'll roll my shoulders back once to feel my shoulder blades sliding down my back. And then chin parallel to the floor. And that's the alignment that you want. Helps for optimal breathing. Helps with good posture to reduce injuries. Rising up, hands on our thighs. We don't place any hands on joints because we want to reduce injury as possible. I was trained in a therapeutic style yoga at a hospital. And at that hospital, we really focus uh, on patients, people who've gotten surgeries, um, people who have survived strokes, who've gone through cancer treatments, Things of that nature where mobility can sometimes be limited um, or painful in any way, shape, or form. So especially when it comes to like you just had surgery or whatnot, or if you had knee surgery and then I, I ask you to put your hand on your knee, you know, you may delay your recovery or make things worse and need another operation. So the big emphasis was no hands on joints and also no touching. Um, I, I have been trained in a way to adjust people physically, but the emphasis was to learn how to adjust people verbally only, especially dealing with people who come into class who are mainly patients. And you don't want to, you just don't want to make anything worse. We're here to help heal, not to help hurt, you know? And, you know, 
obviously you don't have to be pregnant to do this if you are it's very helpful it's very helpful for anybody in any stage honestly I would do a practice like this if I wasn't pregnant without all the belly rubs <laughs> But especially uh, at this scene, the baby, the baby was moving a lot. So just sent some love just to check in and to see how they were doing. Try to get a gauge of what to do next. Just so they can have some comfort. This felt really nice, just rocking back and forth. And then coming back up, taking some time. So doing a hero's pose is what this is called for some. And just trying to get your butt to sit on the floor in between your legs. And this is great. Just like allowing gravity to pull down. That's why you see my face and <laughs> there's such deep exhales because there's such an intense stretch in the thighs, in the legs, in the glutes. So coming to a seated position. Soles of the feet to meet each other. Beautiful. And just coming to a slight forward fold here. Just a slight guy. Just trying to open up the back here. Lower back, middle back, upper back. And make sure you smile. Smiling is always nice. Even if you're doing yoga by yourself. Just work out the muscles in your face too. Smile a little bit. Take less muscles to smile but you should smile more <laughs> i was gonna say you know it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile but that would mean you're working at your face more just smile more it's fine don't worry about that so just taking a moment to connect with baby and that's all that i have for you guys today thank you for sharing in my journey with me i so appreciate you doing that Remember to subscribe and share this with your friends and family. Like the video. And remember what this channel is about. It's about reducing the ego, which is you and I as individuals. And embracing the ego, which includes you and I. But to live in harmony with all of creation. Alright you guys. Love and balance.